Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is Divine Empress 71. Um, back again to do another reading for you guys. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, if you're new to my channel for the first time, welcome. Um, and if you are returning, uh, welcome back. All right, I'm going to, um, uh, this is gonna be more of a, a Twin Flame uh, Connections reading. So I'm gonna be using the Twin Flame Connections deck. Um, and probably a couple of more other decks as well uh, during the reading. All right. Spirit, what messages do we have for the collective this evening? What messages do we have for the collective? Lessons. Separation is necessary. Learning a divine lesson. Okay. So, whatever this connection was, um, collective. It was meant to teach you something. You were probably meant to teach this person something. And this person was meant to teach you something as well. Yeah. That separation was necessary so you can grow from it. Learn what you need to learn and grow from it. What else? What else, Spirit? Long wait is here. But did you did you um did you put your life on hold for this person collective? I'm hearing that some of you did. You waited, you waited for this person to choose you, and this person didn't. This person thought. That they could sleep on your love. And they had all the time in the world. To keep you waiting. And to do whatever it was that they wanted to do. Outside of the connection with you. So. You waited. And they thought that you would wait and wait and wait. But you got tired of waiting. So you moved on. Yeah. Huh. Oh, wow. Okay, what else? Undecided. Nothing was set in stone with this person, whoever this person was. Too many things in the way of this connection. Mm. Too many obstacles. You didn't, um, you didn't know where you stood with this person, collective. Mm. Mm. Then we have Ten of Cups here. This is all about marriage. Well, it could lead to marriage. Yeah, happy union. Mm -hmm. Being uh, being content, you know, being satisfied. Happy union, family, all of that. And then we have King of Swords here. This is um this is um air energy here. And this cups is water. This is water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, um, and Aquarius. Yep, uh Okay. Were you dealing with somebody who um who may have been um, emotionally detached, collective? They didn't really, they didn't really show feelings. That's why you never, you didn't, you you know, things were up in the air with this person, undecided. Nothing was set in stone. This person could have had a kind of a rugged, kind of rough side to them, kind of cold, kind of. So you gain some sort of mental clarity with this connection and dealing with this person. Mm -hmm. You stop waiting. So, so you are, some of you guys are in the nine of cups energy. So you are manifesting your ten of cups. And that's where a lot of y'all are heading to. Ten of cups. 
you just need one more. Hmm. Okay. You were dealing with somebody who was unawakened. They were unawakened to this connection. Doesn't they, um, this person didn't, they didn't understand. See, this person had feelings for you. They loved you. But they didn't understand why. So this could have been somebody who possibly... This could have been somebody who was a player, could have been, and they had a love them and leave them type of mentality. You know, when they when they get done with one connection, they on to the next, or maybe they already have somebody else, a third party that they, you know. Uh, but with you, it was different. It was different with you, uh, collective. It was different with you. They ended up falling in love with you. They wasn't trying to. It was just something something about you. You were different from what they were used to dealing with. That's why they couldn't understand why. Why am I in love? Why do I? Why am I constantly thinking about this person? Why am I constantly longing for this person? I've never felt like that about anybody before. They felt that way about you, though. Hmm. First time for everything. <laughs> Excuse me. Then we have uh, two of swords here. Uh, this is air energy as well. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could have been dealing with one of them. You could be, uh, but it could be any sign. Uh, yeah, so this person... Uh, had a choice between you and other people. It was between you and somebody else. Mm -hmm. That's why they, you know, and this is why they kept you waiting for so long with this wait card here. This is the reason why they kept you waiting for so long. And uh, And they thought that you would always be waiting while they are being between you and somebody else. They thought that you would be waiting. But they thought wrong. Then we have the magician. is here. Yeah. Um, this person could be manifesting you back. Mm -hmm. um, you may be fan of... A lot of you guys may be manifesting new. New beginnings. New, you know, new, everything new. But this person could be manifesting to return. Mm -hmm. oh. Um, And then we have awakening. Yep. Yeah. So after you, um, you receive some sort of awakening collective uh, with this connection. And so um, now you are feeling this. Um, a lot of you guys have already healed. Are you going through a healing? Some of you guys might be at the end of your healing stage. Um, so now you are at this point now where, you know, you are you are getting back to your old self, you know, um, getting back to kind of, you know, that, in, that some of that energy that you had before you met this person. Before this person broke you and put you through what they put you through. Healing. So you went through a healing. A lot of you did. You uh, you accepted this connection for what it was. Um, you saw that it wasn't serving you. It didn't bring you any kind of fulfillment. Because like I said, you was dealing with somebody who, you know, they were cold cold as ice. They were, you know, emotionally, emotionally detached. They didn't, you know, show feelings. Um, so now you are focusing on self. You are making healthy choices with yourself. Um, you know, um, eating right. Some of you guys are 
uh, you know, eating healthy, uh, exercising, going on diets, uh, walking, uh, going on nature hikes, or uh, just uh, maybe out by the ocean, out by the beach, you know, whatever. Just, you know, just just focusing on you. Yeah. Um, you are learning to uh, love self, and that's good. We have what's the tea is here. So this person been gossiping about you. Um, they've been asking about you. So if they've been asking about you, then this tells me that you guys were, this person was either, you and this person was connected to the same people. Maybe this person is connected to your family in some kind of way. Or maybe y'all, you know, you guys, uh, you know, like was connected, you know, like to the same friends, you know, maybe that, you know, they knew your friends or whatever. Um, so, yeah, this person been, been, been uh, they gossiped about you and asked about you, asking about you for some of y'all. Then we have uh, three of cups here. This is uh, water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, you know, um, some of you guys have been, you know, going out, celebrating, um, you know, making new friendships. Um, now now that the holidays is, is getting ready to come in, come in, some of you guys will be, will be going out to parties like, you know, Christmas parties, New Year's parties and, you know, family engagements and things like that. Yeah. So, um you're going to be you're going to be um celebrating and um meeting some new people here. And then again, maybe at one of these parties, you just might find the one collected. Yep. Hmm. Let's see here. What else spirit? Hmm. Wing of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. This is so the Queen of Pentacles, that's your energy. This is somebody who's a uh, you know, who's abundant, very confident. Uh yeah. Um a lot of you guys are stable. You know, you are financially stable. Some of you guys are doing very well. And for and uh and some of you are, you know, in the process of um uh you are in the process of increasing your income as well. Yeah, but Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's like a you know, um they like they like nice things, you know. Some of you guys can be very, you know, you're not materialistic, you just like nice things, you know. Um and you, you know, and you want, you, you believe in living well, you know, very, you know, confident in yourself. Wow. All right. Let's see what else. Hi, uh, the high priestess is here. Yep. So, um, uh, you use your, uh, intuition when you, um, was in, in this connection, uh, collective. You were able to, because one thing about the high priestess, they can, um, they have the ability to see beyond what the eye can see. You see, we, we learn to see through our spiritual eyes and not with our physical eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of you guys are very highly intuitive. Mm-hmm. Spiritual as well. The person that you could have been dealing with, they could have been religious as well or spiritual. But I'm hearing this person, if they were spiritual, they didn't use their gifts in the right way. They didn't they didn't use their gifts like you did. Hmm. What else? Sexual encounter is here. 
Hmm. So were you dealing with somebody who was lustful? They had a lustful um spirit about them. And their intentions towards you when they met you was uh lustful as well. This this person um bonded with you sexually. You some of you guys bonded through sex. This was a sexual connection for a lot of y'all. Very sexual. You were, you were dealing with a player too. Because taming hunger is here. <laughs> this person um, now since you've been gone, since you've been um, parted ways with this person, this person is is uh, maybe resisting the temptation to try to come back towards you. Because they are or they have been thinking about you sexually. They want to come towards you so bad. I can, I can, I can feel it. <laughs> it's heavy too. It's, it's heavy. Mm. All right, let's keep going. Let's see. Uh, what else, spirit? What other messages do we have for the collective? Four of Pentacles is here. This is more Earth energy. Yep. You were dealing with somebody who was controlling. They were insecure. Uh, this person was stingy too. This person breadcrumbed the hell out of you. <laughs> this person, this person, uh, yeah, this is somebody that held on to their money. And they held, you know, and then again, now, cause see, you know, they were so uh, selfish and, and and controlling, but this also could have been somebody who was selfish towards others. But they would spend all kinds of money on themselves. Yeah, that's a damn shame. I knew somebody like that too. So hey. Uh huh. And this person, they like to. Um, this is somebody that likes to go back to their exes. As long as that ex, he, you know, like, if they if they don't cut off communication with this person. This person reaches out to them. I don't care if it's six months, a year, down the road, whatever. If 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 uh, if they see any kind of opening, you know, just an inkling of an opening that they could come back, they would. See, they did this with you. They were in and out, on and off, in and out. You know, y'all will break up for a while. You think, you know. You may uh, may have tried to move on from this person in the past, and um, but um, this person would would find some kind of way to come back. They would, you know, out of the blue, you'll get a text, a phone call, or whatever, and then it's it's back on again, only just for a minute. And once they come in, because this is somebody, this is somebody that when they'll come in. They were, they were not there for a long time. It was only just for a good time. Once they got what they wanted, they were they were out. They were, you know, it was like, I'll holler at you some other time type of vibe, you know. And um, that wasn't cool because that was really making you feel some type of way. That's why, you know, it was nothing was set in stone. It was too up in the air. And this person had you waiting and waiting and waiting while they were juggling you with other people and stuff like that. And and uh and because you and because you loved them so they thought that you were 
not going to go anywhere. That's what they thought. Okay. But see, you got your swords up now. Queen of Swords. This is Era Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Um, yeah, boundaries. You got boundaries in place now. A lot of you guys are highly independent. And uh and 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 because you you've learned such a lesson from this connection, a lot of you guys are not going to fall in love so quickly anymore. A lot of you guys are going to um gonna be um putting head over heart. You're going to be making decisions more <clears throat> on the logic sense than, than with emotions. So this person already kind of, I believe they know because of the fact that uh, you walked away and it's been so long for a lot of y'all. This person know that you got your boundaries up. Mm -hmm. And some of you guys, this person knows that you are determined not to return to, to you know not to reconnect with them then you have king of swords king of swords to the queen of swords this is a pair this is a pair here and you know uh you know that that uh i mean no 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 i'm sorry i take that back my bad this, this is king of wands <laughs> it's fire in <energy>. it <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Y'all forgive me. I am a little tired, you know. I just got off from work. Uh, but anyway, uh, now this King of Wands, this is somebody who, you know, they, it's a, it's a, their way or the highway, want it all, you know, take charge, like the control, this, yeah, um, that's King of Wands. Um, this this uh, King of Swords um, could have been in that energy as well, because I am picking up that this this is actually the same person. This is the same person. It's time. It's here. It's time. Yeah. Um, that was a uh, divine intervention that took place here god had to come in and uh intervene in this connection yeah he he pulled you away from this person that's why no more running is here yeah see what spirit was trying to show this person was was that you was the one that was chosen for them and they needed to stop running. There was no need for them to run. Because the person that they were looking for, see, this person had been manifesting somebody like you for the whole time. I mean, for years, for some of them. They've been manifesting somebody like you. So, but then, but then when they got you, when they met you, they just shitted on the you know, they just shitted on it. They just messed up this connection. You know what I mean? They they dropped the ball. And and spirit was trying to nudge this person to let this person know. I you you have found the one that you've been manifesting. This is the one for you. But this person, I know what it was. See, they were they were not used to somebody like you, collective. You were different, not only in just your energy. No, you were different with the way you wear your hair. I mean, with the way you dress, your vibe. I mean, everything was uh, everything about you was different. Your whole flow, you know what I mean, your whole being was just different from what this person was used to. 
Yeah. And you operated on a little bit more of a higher vibration too than this person. And from what this person was used to dealing with prior to meeting you. See, you didn't come. It's kind of like, um, okay. Okay. Thank you, spirit. This person rejected you um, because you, like I said, you wasn't used to what they, you, you were not what they were used to. You didn't come in, you came as a gift, but you came in this special wrapping, you know, so, so they, so they judged the gift by the wrapping that it was wrapped in. So, and they just took it in like, oh, you know, and just, you know, shit it on, you know? So they didn't, they didn't see your worth or your value and what you was trying to bring to their life. They didn't see it or either, or they didn't appreciate it. Wow. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Three of Wands is here. Yeah, so now you, a lot of you guys are exploring. You are, uh, you are uh, exploring and you are uh, focusing on, you know, looking at the next stage, you know, of life, what the, what, you know, manifesting new love and, you know, um, uh, dating. Some of you guys are dating. You, you, you know, um, exploring your options now with some of you guys. And then we have seven of pentacles here. Um, this is, uh, earth energy. So you have a little bit of all the elements out here, earth, fire, uh, water, air. Um, so with the seven of pentacles, you know, um, this is, this is all about, you know, um, putting some things in perspective, you know, uh, taking a long, um, evaluation. Um, so this is, this is what you did. You, you just, before you walked away, you just kind of like did a, a like a, you know, like a re-evaluation of this whole thing. It was like, you know what? I'm going to have to let this go. This, this was not serving. You wasn't, you wasn't getting any fulfillment from it. And then this person could could now be in the energy as well. You know, they could be in this energy. Um, you know, um, looking back on the connection that they had with you, doing some now 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 they are looking at it different now. Now that their eyes have seen, um, they didn't really come to the truth or to the real realization of who you was to them until after you left. So that's where that re-evaluation, looking at things in a more long-term view comes in at. Mm. Frozen. Hard to let go. Resisting change. Yeah. See, you was, yeah, you were dealing with some, you were dealing with somebody that was stubborn. Mm. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah, you were dealing with somebody who was stubborn, uh, had a cold side to them, too. Kind of, you know, no feelings. I didn't show none. Um, they, um, yeah, and this is somebody who wouldn't change. They know because, see, they also knew that in order to be with you or give them or give you the kind of commit, you know, the kind of commitment and the connection that you wanted, they was going to have to change. They was going to have to elevate themselves. And they was not ready to do that. They was stubborn. You know, I'm, uh, I'm hearing set in their ways. The moon is here, Pisces energy. Yeah. Things were uncertain. This this relationship was complicated. Very complicated for a lot of y'all. Messy. 
a lot of lies, a lot of things being hidden. Then we have date. This person may, some of you guys are dating. Some of you, if you're not dating yet, you will be uh, invited. You will be asked out on a date. And this person may want to come back and date. May They may want to come back and ask you for a date. Who knows? Okay, so we're going to get into some Mystic Bees unofficial official messages here. So we're going to see what comes out. Uh, these uh, messages can be like a direct message from that person's energy to you collective or vice versa. But let's see. All right. You are my person. So now this person sees that that you are their person. I think they I think that they uh, always knew that that you were their person. Uh, but like I said, they didn't really get that that real clarity until after you uh, walked away. I need to talk to you, but I'm afraid to reach out. Yes, because this cause, like I said, um, with this uh, Queen of Swords here. This person know that you got your boundaries up. You, 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 yeah. Some of you are, are, are not, some of you probably already got this person blocked. This person can't call you. And, you know, and some of y'all, mm, you mean, some of y'all ain't gonna, I don't know, some of y'all ain't gonna be so nice to this person. Ooh, player, player from the Himalaya. I told you. See, yeah, you were dealing with old player. Player, player from the Himalaya. Yeah, uh, this person was juggling, trying to, you know, uh, have you and somebody else, um, trying to be between you and other people. That's why they kept you waiting like they did. This is why they, um, they, they thought that because you kept letting them come back. Because see, this this was an on and off situation for some of y'all. This person was in and out, on and off, in and out, in for, uh, you know, in for a good time, not a long time type of thing. This person was, you know, and this person thought that because you kept letting them come back, that they was going to keep you waiting like that. That you, you know, that, uh, you know, that they were just going to keep you on that, on that, um, on that merry-go-round, you know. Mm-hmm. I see what I said to you still haunts me. So for some of y'all, this person, you uh, may have had an argument with this person right before y'all parted ways. This person may have said some things to you that wasn't cool. You may have said some things to them. If it's meant to be, it will be. This is your energy for some of y'all. Because some of you guys, when this person come back around, some of you guys are going to hear what this person got to say. Some of you guys may uh, take the invitation out on the date, you know, just to see what this, see where this person's mind is. Some of you guys will, but then some of you, but some of you guys won't. So, and some of you guys are already in a connection. Um, you are my destiny. Yeah. They realizing that now, now that it's over with, now that you've moved on, yeah. <sighs> I never want to lose you again. So this person um, is hoping that, that they get another chance with you, Collective, and hoping that if they ever get this chance with you again, that they won't, that they won't mess up this time. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. I communicate with you through music. So, um, so this person listens to this person probably loves music. You do. Some of you guys probably love music too. Did this, this was probably one of the things that you guys connected with when you were together, you know, listening to a lot of music together. I remember you. This, I remember you. 
card lets me know that uh this person you you um have known this person in a past life. Mm-hmm. You were um in a connection with this person in a past life. I I know I owe you an apology. See? Yeah, this person know that they messed up. They know that they that they need to come in and tell the truth. They know that if they're gonna come back, they gotta come back right or don't come back at all. You know, and they know that. I need you and your pure love. Yeah. This person is missing you so bad. Lord have mercy. You have my whole heart. This person always have loved you. They always have had some feelings for you, but they just never would show it. All right, let me pull um, some lovers tarot uh, and see what if there's any messages in here that spirit may want you to know uh, collectively before I close this out. Uh, we have escape. We have escape. Uh, love is an emotional escape for you. Be sure you are getting involved with the right, for the right reasons. So, uh, so spirit is basically cautioning you, collective, you know, um, that, uh, you know, uh, just be careful with, you know, from going forward, um, start, you know, start, you know, kind of like what I was saying before about that head over heart. Um, you know, um, and make sure that you get into connections with people for the right reason and make sure that you discern them and see what kind of time they're on to see if their intentions are also true as well. Uh, let's see what else comes out here. Uh, lost, lost is here. Um, you feel like you have been abandoned, but there is a deeper connection coming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. This, this person hurt you. Uh, but, but see God, God is going to, um, make up for that, for what you lost. You're going to get that back. What this person did not do or could not offer you, you are going to get that with someone else. That connection is going to be a much deeper connection a more fulfilling connection that is going to be the one that is going to lead to that higher commitment that a lot of you guys are manifesting that long-term commitment and stability yeah all right let's see let's get another one here crushed this here you are hurting emotionally right now you need time to heal before you jump in again. Yeah, same thing. You know, just uh, you know, just make sure that you heal. Uh, focus on self. You know, uh, cause this healing card did come out earlier. Uh, you know, a lot of you guys been you know been doing it, but yeah, you know, focus on your healing for some of you. If you for those of you who haven't done it yet or may be going through it right now, yeah. So uh, so you do need time to heal before you jump into. A, a new connection because what you don't want to do is you don't want to bring that baggage from your last connection over into the new connection. You see what I'm saying? You want to be healed. When you go into that, that new connection, that what you left behind need to be dead and buried. It need to be dead, dead and buried and forgotten about. You know, you are no longer holding on to that. Let me get one more card here. Alone. You feel you feel like you are in this situation by yourself, but it won't be like this forever. See, so this is what what spirit is telling you. They are going to bless your life with somebody, somebody, somebody that's going to be your other half, somebody that's going to be what this past person failed to be to you. If you were um. A lot of you, you were good to this person. You were loyal. You were kind. You were faithful. You, you was the one that was trying to carry the relationship. And for that, God, the divine, 
is going to bless you for that. It's going to reward you for that. Yeah. See, we have a long road here. You have a long way to go before you find what you want, but the journey helps you grow. Yeah. So, you know, this is all about being patient. You know, just be, you know, just focus on you. Um, you know, yeah, I, I know the road was tough and it might be still tough. I think the road would always be tough as long as we are alive in this world. It, it's, it, it's just going to be tough anyway. You're going to have some ups and downs, some battles, some whatever, you know, just, just what it is. But, but just know, collected, that you are not alone. The divine is with you. You are being divinely guided. You are loved. You are being watched over. And you will be vindicated. And you will be rewarded for, uh, you know, for the goodness that you tried to bring in this person's life. This person just failed to, you know, they uh, they were so caught up in their own karmic, low vibrational mess that they had going on on the inside of them. It didn't have nothing to do with you. It didn't have nothing to do with you. Um. This was some, you know, this person was, uh, I'm hearing this person was long overdue for some self-healing, you know. Um, but that's why the divine sent you to this person. So you could help this person heal because a lot, some of you are light workers. Some of you are, you know, you're, you are spiritual. Some of you guys are healers. Uh, you know, um, some of you guys like myself. Uh, you know, I'm a light worker. The work that I do, you know, I work in the human service profession. And I, you know, and God showed me what my purpose was a long time ago. My purpose was to serve, was to serve others. So that's what I've been doing for the past 25 years. Um, and I can't see myself doing nothing else. That's why I love doing this, the you know, these readings and things like that. Because I can share. I can share not only what I see, uh, you know, uh, intuitively picking up from these cars, but I can also share a little bit of my story, a little bit of my wisdom with you, you know, to help you along your journey. This way. So I'm going to end this here. Um, I hope um, that this um, this uh, reading was a blessing to somebody. Um, and if it's if this if this your story. If this fits your situation, past, present, you know, um, maybe even possibly future, uh, hit like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll be talking with you guys soon, okay? All right. Bye-bye.